thank you all for joining us. In case you haven't heard of us, we challenged a Japanese company called Tsurubashi Heavy Industries to a giant robot fight with the robot that you see behind us. Uh, this is the Mark II. It weighs six tons. It stands up to 15 feet tall. It's 11 and a half feet tall right now. It has a 24 horse engine in it. As a comparison to the robot that we are in the process of building now, that robot is 350 horsepower instead of 24. It's 16 feet tall instead of 15. And it's 10 tons instead of six. So that's the difference between a robot where we built it to look like a giant robot. The next one is we built it to actually fight. So what we're going to do for you today is we're going to show you uh, a little bit about what this robot can do. And uh, then you can check out our trailer that just dropped for our first season of content on YouTube right now. Uh, Matt's going to tell you a little bit more. And then if you want, you can get your very own Megabot shirts for sale uh, after the demo. All right, guys, we're about to see the demo. Uh, we hope that you guys will think we are the most interesting startup here today at TechCrunch San Francisco. Yeah. We are a giant fighting robot sports league. This company uh, started with a challenge video where we challenged the sovereign nation of Japan to a giant robot fight. They accepted. And then we ran a Kickstarter to upgrade our robot because Japan said they wanted a hand-to-hand -hand combat. So this is what hand-to-hand -hand combat is. Uh, the new robot will have that on there. That's a stump grinder. That's meant to make stumps, tree stumps, disappear. Uh, and we ran a Kickstarter and we raised over half a million dollars to support Team USA in the giant robot fight. Now this is our first robot. This is the Mark II. Uh, I'm going to give a little shout out to our law firm, Latham & Watkins, for sponsoring our appearance here. They're a great, uh, great law firm, and if you uh, need uh, your help to start a support committee of giant fighting robots, I'd highly recommend them. So we're doing a little weapons test today. On the uh, right arm of the robot is a 6-inch pneumatic cannon. This usually fires... It's a 6-inch uh, cannon on the other side. Cannonballs, 3-pound paint cannonballs with speeds of over 130 miles an hour. Just to give you a little idea, that shoots uh, at 135 miles an hour. Kinetic energy of a 50 cal sniper round. Shoot so you. you can hit with that. You're not going to go to the hospital, you're going to go to the morgue. So we're not firing that one today. What we are firing is our uh, missile launcher, which is on the left arm. That's the missile the robot's launcher. Left arm. Uh, and we've loaded that up with t-shirts. We've uh, partnered with a number of other startups here today. We're doing a little cross-promotional t-shirt shoot. It doesn't have so a So some of these t-shirts are from some other great startups that you'll see in Startup Alley. Some of them are from Megabots. It's a whole grab bag. We don't really know how far these t-shirts are going to go, but we think maybe 50 feet that way. So we're just going to line this up. And, uh, are you ready, Gabe? Please give me the thumbs up. So Let's get a countdown. countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Where are the t-shirts? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> robots make it rain. <laughs> They're making it rain t-shirts. Oh, we got there. one over on the canopies over there. The Megabot was started on the premise that we wanted to bring all of the giant robots from science fiction, from movies, from video games that we played as kids, from the comic books we read. We wanted to bring those to life, and we're doing it. Megabots.com, please check us out. We've got some great YouTube content, Facebook, Instagram, all that. We have a fireside chat at 4 p.m. today, where we'll talk about the economics of a giant fighting robot sports league. <laughs> and then we will, uh, and then we'll do another demo shortly after that. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy TechCrunch. All right, guys. So they're actually going to be doing their panel at four o'clock. Uh, you can watch it on TechCrunch.com and also on Periscope. Pilot's uniform. 